Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the NestJS Prisma MongoDB. Today we are going to learn about building a CRUD REST API using the NestJS Prisma and the MongoDB. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to install the NestJS CLI globally. Okay, so you have to install the first step is you have to install the NestJS CLI. Then we have to create a new project, Nest.js project, Nest new and your project name. Okay. Then install Prisma globally with the help of this command. Then initialize the Prisma in your project with the Prisma in it. After doing the initialization, what will happen? It will create a folder like this. Prisma schema.prisma. Okay. So it will come up like this. And here you need to define your database name. So whether it's to be Postgres, whether it's to be a MongoDB, whether it's to be a MySQL. So currently I'm using the MongoDB. Right. And here now you have to define the model. Make sure this, this is accepting the object ID. Okay. So make sure ID should be a string. Okay. So you have to take care of that one. Okay. So I'm taking the ID, username and the email. Okay. Then you have to install the Prisma client with the command npm install at the Prisma client. Then we have to proceed with the next one. That is define your model MongoDB model here. So you have to define the MongoDB model here. Okay. Then we have to create a users module in the NestJS. Create users module in the NestJS with the command line. So the commands are nest generate module users controller users, then service users. Okay, so when you write this command from the terminal, it will create the users folder into your source directory, right? It will create that one. After this, it will create over here the users directory, right? So it, they, what the files they have, the users controller, then users service, then users module. Okay, this is user module, then we have a user service. Okay, so where we have the all the rest api we have to create okay and then interact with the module after this first this is done users when you run this command this will this files automatically generate it okay after this we have to in the source we have to create a new folder named prisma with the two files prisma module.ts and the prisma service.ts file in the prisma module.ts we have to import the prisma services okay then export the class prisma module then we have a Prisma services. Okay, so here we are using the Prisma client to run our Prisma queries. So this is very important. Okay, now we go with the controllers. So here we have all the API endpoints over here. So import the this function, this one controller get post body param delete and the put from the nest.js common. Then we have to import the services from the user services. Okay, so because service we have the logic like fetching the data, deleting the data, create a data. So all the services go over here. Okay. Private read only user services. Then first one is find all record. This is the get request. Then get by ID param. So this is the get request by ID. Then we have a post, create a record. Then update a record with the help of this. Okay. Next, we have delete a record. Okay. So here you have to delete a record over here, right? So these all the endpoints we have created. Now let's go to the service section where we have created all of the interaction with the DB. So here we have the injectable from the NestJS common Prisma services from this one. At the rate injectable, we are export the class user service constructor Prisma read only Prisma services. First one that is find all with the method find many. Then we have a find one method with the find unique from the where ID should be. Okay, then create user with the help of the user dot create method, whatever data we have using the schema defined in your schema dot Prisma. Okay, next we have to update a record with the Prisma client user dot user dot client dot user dot update method. And here we are accepting the username and the email where ID should be. We have to send the ID so that it can update over to it. Then the last one delete on the behalf of the param ID. Then we will delete a record. Let's go to the postman. Okay. So, and this is, this step is missing. So what first command we have to run is that is in Prisma generate. 
okay then we have to run the prisma db push okay then we have to run another command that is npm run start so this is the sequence of lines that you have to run the commands okay now you can see the all the rest endpoints have been added over here let's go step by step first one is post a request so here i'm going to add a record over here this is body so here i'm going to add a record like this okay let's try to send this record so this is added if i go to my mongodb and here you can see the collection now you can see three records the last one record is added over here now get request so here we have a get request with this one so you can you can you can see i have but record i have added over here. it is over here right now so this is also done then get by id also so here i'm going to send the object id over here and let's fetch the record over here so here it's giving me the error let's see what the error is argument id is missing argument id is missing so let's have a look on that one so id is missing let me check how we can retrieve that one just give me a second hello friends you can see that the issue is now resolved if i go over here you can see we are trying to, if i go with the get request now you can fetch the request with the get one okay so whatever id i'm going to send it over here it will give me the data right if i want to update the record then we have to make a put request and i'm going to update this record like this okay you can see this is updated if i go to the mongodb also this is also updated right so here you can see this is updated with my record and the last one that is the delete portion you can also make a delete request over like this and with this id let's try to send this you can see the record has been deleted over here let's go and check this one and here you can see that one so there are some changes that i have done in the users controller so let's have a look on that one so uh, to accept that id so make sure um, here whatever we have in the plus plus id is there that means it's not accepting that one so this is the code for the find one okay and this is the code for this is not changed right now so this is the put request so update id and the body and the delete remove parameter with this id so we have to remove the plus id over here okay so after this if i go to the service module user service so make sure everything is up to date with this code right remove update create find one okay so this is how you can add the code right and this is a full-fledged CRUD rest api using the prisma mongodb and then sgs any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day